Hi, my name is Beau Garrett. I play Gem in Tron. Yeah, right. If you want to see her in a sexy Tron suit, you should watch Tron and cinemas <laughs> right now. <laughs> I just mentioned the suit. Where is it? Since it's fashion week oh, here right. in Berlin. I love it so much that I left it in my closet at home because I didn't want anyone to steal it from me. And I've also heard that you can't really move or sit in it because there... That's another it, reason I left yeah. it at home. Because you can't move or sit in it. What's the reason for that? Um, it's Well, it's a four-layer suit. It's not just one layer. So you have your corset and then you have a barrier. Then you have the electronics and then you have the suit. Um, and the suit itself, like every other barrier is great. You can move and whatever. But the suit is, um, it's like wearing, it is, you can't move in it. I don't even, there's nothing, I've never worn anything like it before. I mean, it, it pretty much puts you like this. So you have to constantly be like that and force yourself to stand upright. And you just stay in that position for 20 hours. <laughs> well, you couldn't really lay down because you had the disc on the back. So you couldn't lay on your back. You couldn't really lay on your front because you had cement breasts, which was great. <laughs> and uh, you couldn't really lay on your side because you had the lights and you didn't want to mess them up. So we had walkers, you know, like little walkers that we sit on. So in between takes, you'd see all of us like falling over our walkers. <laughs> I think Joe actually has a blooper of the madness of that scene where we're dressing him. And in between a take, literally everyone just stops. All of the like, you know, costume department comes in and they bring the walkers, and we all just fall on the walkers, and this looks like a siren hospital. I've um, of course um, looked up your IMDb uh, mm -hmm. profile, and um, I, I was I kept wondering where do I, do I know her from, and of course I've seen you in um, the Rise of the Silver Surfer, a fantastic four movie. Oh right, yeah. You, you, you just had a brief appearance there. Yes, um, I did. But but it was so um, memorable for me. And, oh, um, that's great. So, so I kept wondering, um, this was a smaller role too in, mm. in Tron, when's the blockbuster I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe at some point, maybe never. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the journey. I don't know where it will take me, but um, uh, I personally, ten, these big films are wonderful to be a part of because you get to do all of this madness. And, um, but I also have such a, uh, an affinity for smaller, kind of more indie films where you can kind of put your heart and character into um, but um, but I, who knows where the journey takes me? I mean, I could end up being a school teacher in a month. Who knows? You yeah. know, life is a funny yeah. thing. So um, we'll see what happens in that regard. Discos aktiviert und synchronisiert. Weiter zu den Spielen. Spielen. Of course, there's a Tron video game. Uh, mm. Did you have right. time to check it out? No, I haven't. I don't really play games. I I did for a minute at the press junket in Los Angeles. I think they showed me like. A little bit of it, um, but I haven't. I haven't really explored it. Sam, it's lange her. Du hast keine Ahnung. Du, du bist hier. If they would have told you, and we're doing a new Tron movie, and you wouldn't even know what this is, mm. and they said, um, okay, Jeff Bridges is in sure. there. Sure, I'll do whatever he does. Yeah. <laughs> I will be on the Jeff Bridges train anytime. I just think he's so, uh, he's a legend. Yeah. I mean, I've been watching his work since I was a kid, and he is a legend, and he's a really good man, and uh, so talented, and has such a soul. I think he's also very natural, and I think that's what makes him so wonderful to watch, is that he's just a good natural actor <laughs> that doesn't try too hard and he's just got such a soul and um, such a spirit about him that he was fun to work with. I've just recently watched the original uh, Tron before I watched Legacy and um, I haven't seen it before and I didn't really like it. I, I never saw the original. So, I know. <laughs> Someone's gonna shoot me with a, like, a Sim. lightning's gonna come down and kill me. <laughs> I didn't see the original, and I chose not to because I wanted this legacy to be my first experience in Tron. And I knew that was exactly my fear, is that I would watch it, and it was such an, it was an old version, and so much has changed in technology since then that I would judge it. 
and not appreciate it for if I had been 14 at the time it came mm-hmm. out. Like Michael Sheen was a kid when it came out and he <laughs> loved it and it changed his world, you know. But I was born in 82 and I think that I would go back and watch it and judge it. And this was such a experience for me being a part of it, A, and then also seeing it. And so much time passed since we had shot it that I could actually see it unbiased and forget how the process of it and and uh, so it was ni- it was nice for this to be my my first experience. Oh, let's see if people laugh about this tron in 10 years, you know. <laughs> I, <laughs> we don't know. I hope not. I hope it just goes down in history. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you.